Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild happening in NFT land. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way in today, Square Bears and the hype surrounding it. This is something that um, was on my list to talk about a while back, and I sort of just forgot about it over this long weekend. It's a long weekend in Canada, and I just kind of forgot about it. But I know the mint is happening today, or at least the white sale, the pre-sale is happening today, and then the public will happen tomorrow. So I'm just kind of going over it real quickly, because why not? I'm just trying to wrap my head around the hype around this project, because it's pretty big. They got like 40k plus Twitter followers, and like 22k Discord followers, and I really don't understand uh, the hype necessarily. Um, you know, this, if you haven't heard of this project, it's these, these retro bears, as you can see how they're dressed, and they're offering 8,888 versions of them with 200 different uh, traits. Now, the the roadmap, I'm not even going to go through this individually because the, the roadmap is exactly what you've heard from every single other roadmap. They're going to have a metaverse. They're going to have merchandise, which is their biggest thing, like their street merch. They want to partner with different people to... Um, push the street merchandising really hard but you know they got the merchandise they got the metaverse they got they're going to look for white lists to provide their community with vetted white lists so they can that you guys can get early access into um what else are they doing they you know they're doing giveaways they're going to have oh they're going to have a flagship event in la and probably other events both in the metaverse and in real life you know same things you've heard a, a billion freaking times so when you hear that over and over again, what does it matter, right? Well, the team, the team and the connections that they have, who they know, how they know them and who's hyping them up is really what's going to do it. So we'll start off with the artist over here. This is uh, Gustavo. Now, apparently the entire team is supposedly doxxed. Um, I don't I looked in their discord. I didn't see any links. To like a team section and just sort of like boom 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 here's everything um you can google them and find out through like certain linkedins for some people gustavo they released a mini documentary uh one of this is one part of two there's a secondary part and it's basically just him kind of quickly talking about um you know him working on the project it's nothing in depth nothing crazy it's just him working on the project here um well this particular this person in particular did not like this and called it fake and everything gustavo also you know i guess english is not his first language right so it, it could also just be that but really it just came down to the fact that they only showcase this part the second part and, and not really um much else about it here's his twitter um, he said he's new to the crypto NFT and Twitter, um, but he's an experienced artist. So we'll have to take his word for it because he doesn't have any links to his work that he's done. And he doesn't really have a link to an Instagram and he doesn't have um, a link to the work that they say he's been through. So there is a white paper here that goes over it. And they do mention the artists here. He does mention the other artists in the little mini doc that they got going on there. But that's about it, you don't really get to see that guy and if you look up these you can't really pinpoint gustavo himself um and it also does say here that they had their fingers in many mainstream productions so that could mean anything um but we'll have to take their word for it they do have some good partnerships so that's a really good thing about it partnership with these goonies nfts which are already released um these guys, you know, 152K followers. Um, but last I saw on there, I believe it's here. Or I do have it here. You know, 155K followers, with, but, you know, not really doing too fantastic right now. That will hopefully pick up for these guys. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, they've got the Ape List hype as well these guys mentioned them as well so they got connections so with those guys and then they have another one over here um with the project uh god jira right god jira who are huge and they've got like a crazy like you know 19.8 is is their floor and i think that's like a low end one too like a height of like 30 which is which is insane they've got a bunch of other ones as well that they mentioned but those ones that i was looking at didn't 
they haven't been released yet, so I didn't want to, so I just didn't bother mentioning them. But the ones that I just mentioned right now, their NFTs are out and they are people who, you know, have created some pretty like large projects such as this one. So that's really nice to have as well. They apparently had five audits and also had the founder of Azuki approve their ERC 721 smart contract. I don't know how to verify that. I could not find the Azuki tweet or anything like that to confirm it. They didn't at Azuki when they did this. So I've got no idea how to check that out. But so they say, so here's the, oh, here's the other one. It sort of kind of has his name. It doesn't really have his last name because I can't even read what that says. Maybe somebody can and tell me, you know, if you have a link to more about the information on this man, that would be greatly appreciated. The next person they have. Um, so this is like their dev and founder. And Daniel Dillian. And he's got a degree in computer science. They do mention him over here. He's at the top here, passionate about blockchain, the CEO of a successful California-based real estate tech company. He's a photographer. He's a 3D visual, like uh, he sets up like these visual tours, these 3D visual tours. And But he mostly for the past like seven to nine years has been doing um drone shot stuff like aerial drone stuff and which is looks pretty dope he's got um i don't think i have his website up here but the stuff he does do is pretty good it looks very nice and they, they, they here they say that he has a bachelor's in computer science um but he is the smart contract developer and founder and he also hosts weekly nft events in los angeles so that's kind of what they have to say here but again um it says he's developed he's the developer and whatnot but again he did spend the last you know over seven years nine years experience doing photography aerial photography video 3d tours and then some marketing uh, services to help sell real estate that's his bread and butter that's what he focuses on i mean it's not to say he can't do anything else it's not to say he didn't take his degree in computer science further and continue to increase his knowledge upon that but when you spent the last nine years not doing that, mostly, you know, take that what you will. So, yeah, that's pretty much how uh, when it came to I, it was hard to find some of the other guys. There really isn't much here. When I went down, it's like they don't really ha they just have Ryan, um, just his name. Um, same thing with the rest of these guys. These, these guys are, you know, these guys are the major artists. So that isn't to say uh, anything truly bad about these guys. Like you can have other interests and other tastes. Um, but I keep seeing that their team is fully doxxed. I guess other YouTubers have talked about their teams being fully doxxed and they've basically talked to the team themselves, which is fantastic for those guys. I'd rather not rely on those guys and rather rely on stuff that I can actually get to myself, which creates uh, the problem here. Now, the, the amount of partnerships and teams, team ups and whitelist stuff that they're doing is really, really cool. And that helps me like this project a little bit more. I don't like the art at all. So like, it's just whatever. It doesn't look that cool to me, but that doesn't really matter. The point of this video is just to kind of dig through where the hype of this is coming from. And they're not one of these projects that seem egregiously large. Like their discord doesn't have like a hundred thousand plus members, um, which is kind of nice, even though some do. And it's like, it's realistic. It's good to see that like, you know, they, they have like a, a regular following, I guess. But when I come here, I see, you know, 40K plus and not a lot of retweets or, or, or quote tweets or anything like that or likes compared to the 40 plus. Now, that could just be that's I think that's just a Twitter thing. I'm not I haven't been on Twitter that that much and that long to really check to see kind of like your following ratio to your, you know, engagement ratio. So. There, there's always changes for that for sure. So again, these guys, um, their whitelist mints today and the public mint is tomorrow. I just want to talk about it briefly. Kind of the stuff I'm just a little uh, iffy on, which would be nice to a little bit, you know, see a little bit more. Like I said, this their, their team is a very, apparently completely doxxed, but yet yeah, it's not easily accessible anywhere, which has always been my problem. And always been my gripe with people We're talking about how well doxxed the team is yet to provide nothing so i'm like well it can't be that well docs because it should be super easy for me to find it but you know if you're if you're interested in this project it comes out tomorrow for the public again it, it does have a lot of partnerships going on with it so you know people who are interested in these other projects who have you know been who have proven themselves also um are 
you know, hyped up with these projects or connected to them in some way. And to their credit, the whole getting on whitelist stuff, you know, this is, you know, you can take this as kind of part of the proof of that where they're partnering with other projects and they do offer, um, I'm not sure if I have one here, but when they do talk about the other projects, they do offer a whitelist for themselves, but also for kind of that related project. Now, those are the future projects, not necessarily the ones that already exist, because why would you need one for? But the future projects that they're working with and partnered up with, they do talk about um, providing whitelist for themselves, but also here's some whitelist for the future projects and vice versa. So the, the hype around this project um, seems very real, seems pretty cool just to see a project that like you know has kind of more legit hype and more connections with other people working in the community i still have my problems with it um they mentioned a couple influencers i think this is one of them i couldn't really see anything where he talked about this but i maybe because you know he does stuff like this and maybe you don't want this kind of guy <laughs> you know it's funny, but it's also like you're trying to run a business. But he's also an influencer, so, you know. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would be like, I trust that guy. <laughs> if he's telling me to spend my money on something. Um, but, you know, he's a pretty popular uh, YouTuber, from what I understand. So, you know, good on him. Other than that, there really isn't much else to say about the um, what's going on in this project. Um, here is the white paper that's available. Um, it doesn't really, it, it expands slightly more on the existing roadmap, which is nice. One of the things that they talk about here is the Scare Bears. Uh, it's like a mutated version of the Square Bears. So you can get that, you know, other giveaways. Oh, 100 3D printed Square Bears will be given to the first 100 people at our launch event in Los Angeles. Again, they're having those real life events and all that stuff. You know, though, you, know, you have to wait and kind of see if those come to fruition. I imagine you'll at least get the NFT uh, for this and they do have they do seem to be building up their partnership and their connections with people. And um, so we'll see kind of how it goes with this particular project. I'm not saying anything, anything more than what I've already said. I'm not really saying it's a scam or anything like that. That That's not really the point of this video. It's just sort of to look at kind of the hype surrounding it and kind of where it's coming from. Most of that being the connections that they have in the community and then their community itself. But again, I, I look at the Twitter is not much of the interaction compared to the amount of followings, but I'm not sure if that's a, how the ratio works for those. And then finding some of the team members was not an easy task. Um, it's there for, for, for them. I mean, they do dock some of them, but it's hard to tell how much he's into that particular space. He's, I guess you would have to talk to him, but at the same time, I don't want to have to rely on YouTubers talking to people for me. I'd rather be able to, I want to be able to go on and find the information myself. And I think that's the biggest problem I have with the space is like, I don't want to rely on other people, you know, to hype me up. I, I don't like, that's a personal thing for me, I guess. I prefer to be like, well, I can actually go do the information myself. I say it all the time, do your own research. And I'll see these other YouTubers say, do your own research. But they went and talked to the people, they, according to them. But I can't do that level of research. So they need to provide some semblance of clarity on the information they gave to you. This is, I don't mean like, you know, give out all your cool partnerships and all the stuff you have later to hype up. But, you know, something more would be would be better but anyways guys that's all i gotta say about this particular project if you like leave a like down below let me know what you think about a square bears it's coming out very very soon so we'll see how it goes and good luck to them and anybody who is a part of their community they did have a hacking recently by the way but i believe they took care of that uh pretty easily so take with that what you need to all right guys take care